say of gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So this could be somebody that learned some type of lesson. This person is thankful for um, different lessons that they learned. This could be you. You know, you could be in this energy where you're very thankful from di for different lessons that you have learned. This could be, you know, this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Happiness is here. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So somebody is happy. This could be you. You know, realizing that keeping your spirits up, keeping yourself happy, um, being joyful, loving yourself, being content with yourself. You know, that means that you're on the right path. Services here. I feel good when I can help others. So you're someone that likes to help people. And that could make you happy. Yeah, purpose is here. I know what I am here to do. So yeah, you're someone that's definitely walking in your purpose. You know what you're here to do. You feel good when you can help other people. You're someone that has respect for yourself. You believe in yourself. And this is why gratitude is here. Five of Cups is here. So somebody's in regret. They're ashamed. They're embarrassed. Somebody could have took some type of loss. They're grieving over something. And then King of Cups is here. So somebody could be in regret for not believing something or paying attention to something. And they were embarrassed. Somebody definitely got embarrassed. This could be someone that loves hard, King of Cups. This person is someone that pours out a lot of love to people. And this person could have showed some type of love to the wrong person and it has them embarrassed and regret or the wrong people. Yeah, three of wands in the reverse. Wow. So this is someone that made some type of bad decision and they're in regret. Yeah, it's weighing this person down. Ten of Wands is here. It's This person is burdened. Off of some type of decision that they made. Six of Pentacles. This could have been given to somebody or sharing with somebody, looking out for somebody. Yeah, they gave to somebody. Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they could have gave this person a lot. Like they could have gave this person something that um like they could have gave this person their all. Like everything. Whoever this person is, and they're ashamed, they're embarrassed. Yeah, six of swords is here. It's like they're sailing away from something. And four of cups is here. Wow. Whatever this that has this per whatever this is that has this person um in regret, feeling like they made a bad decision and it's weighing them down or weighed them down or something like that from giving to somebody. This person could have took from somebody else and gave to someone else. And they could have thought they had this Ten of Pentacles with this person. But this is someone that kept this person in this energy of feeling rejected, feeling insecure. It's like they could have been playing some type of mind games over this person. 
because this person was a king of cups, like very loving, very caring. So they could have, you know, took this person's kindness for weakness. Knight of Wands is here. Wow. And then the Sun card is here. So they could have seen this person. The Knight of Wands and the Sun card is here. They could have seen this person like in this energy where they were um, like sneaking off or having sex. Whoever this person was given to, they, that's like they gave this person the Ten of Pentacles or they thought they were going to have a life with this person. This is someone that was non-committal. This is someone that was sleeping with multiple people. They do stuff without thinking. This person have one night stands. This person is very like, you know, low, low vibrational, childish and um, promiscuous. They're loose with their sexual energy. And this person will sleep with anybody. Yeah, somebody's in regret. They're unhappy about something that they did. Eight of Pentacles is here. And then Ace of Pentacles is here. And then the hair upon is here. Justice is here. So this person is definitely realizing that they needed to work on their self because they were in this four of cups energy, feeling insecure, feeling rejected. And this is how they got played by whoever this person is that they were given to. Yeah, they're realizing they need to work on their self in order to have whatever abundance that they're supposed to have. The hair fight and justice being here is like, this person needs to balance their self out. God could have stepped in and just balanced the situation out for this person. So they would be able to move forward. Because they seen something. The sun card and knight of wands. It's like something was revealed about whoever this knight of wands energy is. The star card is here. Yeah. Because this person needed to heal. This person was feeling insecure, rejected about something. And this is what this is how this person was attached to whoever this energy is, five of pentacles, this low vibrational energy. This is someone that's physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold and lost, and they wanted to keep that person in this energy with them, five of pentacles. Physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold and lost. And they could have literally thought they were going to have the ten of pentacles with that person, or they were giving it to that person, like giving that person a lot. But something was definitely seen. Like this person was being watched the entire time and they didn't know. Nine of Wands is here. Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Six of Wands is here. And then four of swords is here. So somebody is nervous because somebody is, you know, choosing to love their self. This, this person could be in this energy where they're getting rejected. They feel rejected. Because this person realized something about whoever this Knight of Wands energy is. Now they're nervous. This person could be running around like, you know, like they went through a lot. Or something like that with this nine of wands. If this is someone who does, you know, things over and over and over again. They're stuck in a never-ending cycle. And this is something that they want to keep that person in. It's like this person chose to love their self. Ace of Cups finally starts showing their self some love because it starts with you first. Six of Wands is here. Four of Swords is here. Something have been laid to rest. This person needed to isolate, cleanse their self, and heal in order to have victory, in order to have success. But they could have been, you know, keeping their self, holding their self back for someone else, um, for something that was not, you know, true or real, like giving to someone. 
putting someone on a pedestal and they're realizing they made a bad decision. It's like they held somebody too high or something like that. that. The strength card is here. Yeah, four swords and a strength card. This person definitely needs to gain their strength back. They need to isolate, go in solitude. And this person needed to heal. Page of Wands, Five of Swords is here. Somebody is pissed off. I mean, you know, somebody literally feel defeated. Page of Wands, Five of Swords. This person is mad because some type of communication came out or something like that. You can be in this page. I mean, I said page of Swords, page of Wands. This is someone that's a speaker. This is someone that's very inspirational, inspiring, uplifting. You could be this person that's in this hair fine energy as well. And then Justice is here. The sun, the star card is here. Knight of Wands, the sun card is here. Some, some, somebody got exposed. Something was revealed. And now they're being seen for who they truly are. Somebody could be in regret because you, whoever this king comes to, they could be in regret because you said something and they didn't believe you. And then they seen it for themselves. But um, somebody feel defeated. Somebody could, you know, literally have set back and sabotaged their self. And this is someone that was envious and jealous of you. And they were, you know, talking about you in a negative way while they were attached to this person to try to make you look bad because you hadn't revealed something that they were doing. This person cannot use you anymore. It's like they feel defeated. They cannot, you know, try to talk about you in a negative way or try to use you to take the attention off of whatever they were doing. They got exposed. So even if that person didn't believe you, something came out where they seen it for themselves. They still got exposed. You're in this hair fine energy. You're someone that's very abundant. You've been working on yourself. Eight of Pentacles is here. Justice is here for you. Balance is here for you. And it's like you could be in this energy where you're giving people justice. You're helping people get woke. Different stuff like that. And somebody is being seen as just low vibrational. They, they, this person defeated their self. And they can no longer try to use your energy or try to use you to try to project energy off onto you like negative energy. They can't do it. This person was trying to do this in the past to whoever this King of Cups is. To keep this person from seeing something or, you know, to keep this person given to them. I'm so done. They could have literally took this person to the Five of Pentacles or the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. And they're realizing they made some type of bad decision. But yeah, you're someone that's communicating something. You're very inspirational. And this person feels defeated. But this person could have gossiped. This person sat back and gossiped about you out of jealousy, envy. And they were trying to sabotage your character. But it did not work. They got mad because something came out like you revealed something. And they were working hard to try to um, make you look bad, sabotage you. Now they're under judgment. Wow. This could have been somebody that thought a lot of people were going to judge you. But if these are people, if people sat back with that person and they were, you know, believing whatever that person said or talking about you in a negative way, judging you because you hadn't spoke the truth or exposed that person. These are people that are, are under judgment, too, for putting their mouth on you in a negative way. It's like this person sabotaged a lot of people. Because a lot of people are under judgment on that card. Not just that person. Your tower is here. This is somebody that is um, dealing with the overflow of bad choices. Because a lot came out about this person. That they, that they will lose this back. <laughs> I'm so the two of cups is here. Yeah, it's like this part, somebody came to a realization, two of cups and then the tower. Somebody 
could have been just sitting back talking about you in a negative way and it made somebody else come to a realization about who they were attached to or partnered up with. I'm so <laughs> Six of cups is here. Yeah, so somebody have came to a major realization and this person wants to partner up with you. They want to come back towards you. This is someone that wants to take action towards you. Ace of Wands is here. And then Two of Pentacles is here. And then Page of Swords. As this almost popped out in the reverse. Wow. And then the Magician is here. So, yeah, this person wants to communicate with you. Whoever this person is that have sabotaged their self and they're under judgment, this is someone that's watching you as well. So this person is sitting back watching you, trying to figure out how to take action towards you, trying to figure out how can they manifest you, and they're just watching. Trying to figure out how can they balance something out. Another person is sitting back watching you trying to figure out how can they cause some type of trickery because they've been defeated. I'm so done. Yeah, this person is at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. This person don't know what to do. After planning something out, like they plan to try to um, sabotage you and it didn't work. They're under judgment. It's like they're receiving karma. Somebody is being forced to um, deal with whatever they... Whatever deception that they caused or whatever they thought that they were doing and they weren't going to get caught or something like that, it's like they were seen. This person could be sitting back nervous and this is why they're watching you. They don't know what to do. Three of Pentacles is here. And then the Hermit is here. As this three of pentacles almost popped out in the reverse. They don't know what to do because somebody could have like, if this person was sitting back watching you with that person and that person was just sitting back gossiping about you, talking about you in a negative way. Now that person have went hermit mode or something like that. They're distancing themselves from whoever this person is. If this was a relationship. This is sad. Because it's like if you have not done anything wrong, whatever you reveal, this person knew that you were speaking the truth. You exposed this person. But they figure if they make you look bad, this person will look at you, you know. They were projecting. They will look at you how they were supposed to be looking at them for whatever you spoke that was true. And they could place some type of confusion over that person about you. And that person would never think whatever you spoke, well, you know, the truth. They would never find out the truth. They would keep that person confused. This person is in regret because they see they caught this person in the act. And this person was sitting back, putting their mouth on you. It's like they're being seen as someone that was just envious and jealous. Wanting to sabotage you because you spoke the truth. If you have not done anything, then it's like you have nothing to worry about. This person had something to worry about because you had not exposed something about them that they did not want to get out. Eight of Wands is here. Yeah, you communicated something. And then King of Pentacles is here. So it's like, yeah, this person could feel like that now this person is distancing herself from them to come towards you. Whoever this King of Pentacles is. This person could be an energy where they're just working on their self. They could be working hard for whatever they, you know, they want out of life, focusing on their finances. And um, very business oriented. Now they're watching to see if this person is coming towards you. And they're stressed out. They don't know what to do. Nine of Swords is here. This person is pissed off because they got exposed. Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords. And they've been trying to figure out how can they distract this person? How can they slow that person down? After they got exposed. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Yeah, they're trying to slow this person down from their will of fortune and then the emperor is here. Yeah, this was a cycle that definitely needed to be closed out. King of Swords and then the world is here. 
this is somebody that they needed to distance themselves from because they were blinded from the truth. It's like this person is somebody that, that spread some type of deception and lies. This person was being very deceptive, very sneaky, and they, you know, were trying to keep that person blinded. So this person thought if they would sabotage you, make you look bad, because they could have knew that this person wanted to come towards you and partner up with you. And they also knew whatever it is that you spoke was true. This person had a vendetta against you because you, uh, this person had a vendetta against you, but they got behind the scenes and did it in a sneaky deceptive way. This person could not face you. Hey, why did you say this about me? And why did you, because they knew what you spoke was true. So they had to get behind the scenes and talk about you in a bad way. This is someone that could not come and face you. So they had to hide it. You know, this is someone that's very sneaky. They do stuff behind the scenes. So they had to keep their self hidden. But they thought that you would never find out. The fool, the fool is here. Somebody is going towards a whole nother direction after being lied to and deceived. A lot of deception. Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person is in this Nine of Pentacles energy or you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy and they want to come towards you or they're coming towards you. Yeah, after finding out the truth, Ace of Swords is here. This is someone that could no longer try to use you to try to slow this person down, distract this person. All because you haven't spoke the truth and somebody is realizing that. It's like they, whoever this person is that kept putting their mouth on you or was sitting back in this five of swords energy with you trying to be deceptive, seven of swords energy. It made this person realize who you were to them. Two of cups is here. It made them realize that they wanted to partner up with you, work with you. Yeah, this could be somebody that definitely wants to be in a commitment with you. Queen of Pentacles. And then Queen of Wands is here. Page of Cups is here. <clears throat> so somebody wants to apologize to you. Queen of Cups. Queen of Page of Cups and Queen of Wands. This could be an apology or somebody just wants to speak with you. Like have some type of conversation with you. Yeah, this is somebody. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, this is somebody that have been secretly admiring you. Page of Cups, Queen of Wands. So this is someone that's attracted to you, but they this is someone that have not expressed it. They just been secretly admiring you. This person was in an energy where they were very immature. They didn't know how to express this. Yeah, somebody is in regret for not expressing uh, their self to you. Because it's been weighing that person down. Something happened to this person. It's like they were given to someone that kept them in this Four of Cups energy. Feeling insecure, feeling rejected. Yeah, but something came to an end. The death card is here. They needed to go through this transformation. And then Knight of Cups is here. Now they want to connect with you. After something have came to a complete end. And then the Lovers is here. So this person definitely wants to connect with you. This person is in love with you. They want to express how they feel. They know about a, this, a spiritual connection that you and them have. You and this person could have mutual feelings for each other. King of Wands is here. And then Four of Wands. Yeah, this person knows that you're their twin. I'm so dumb. So it's like you... Yeah. This person knows who you are to them. This person knows that you and them share the same soul and you're someone that you're someone that gets telepathic messages from this person, spiritual messages from this person. This person, you could see this person in your dreams a lot. Wow. Yeah, these are two people that are very intuitive. This person have gotten woke. They know who you are to them. Neither. <laughs> Somebody is pissed off. Somebody is pissed off because someone is no longer confused. Eight of Cups is here. 
they know about this spiritual connection. They know that you're their twin. Somebody is upset. Knight of Swords is here. <laughs> you will least expect. I'm so dumb. Yeah, this is somebody that was trying to hold on to that person too tight. This is someone that's very needy, clingy, codependent, controlling. Mm -mm. This is sad. This is somebody that was, you know, thought that they owned this person or something. You see how tight this person is holding this pinnacle. They thought they had some type of possession over this person or something like that. This could have been somebody, this person that they were given to and they found out the truth about something that they did. Because this person is reckless. It's like they run around and just do stuff without thinking. This person is the type of person that will just have a one night stand with anybody and not even care. Now that they're, you know, they're, they've been exposed, they don't know what to do. They're stressed out and they're pissed off because they were expecting to hold on to this person. But now this person is in this energy. They're no longer confused. This person is walking away from a bad investment. Eight of Cups is here. I'm so done. Yeah, and this person is stuck. The hangman is here. They could be wrapped up in some type of situation. And they were trying to hold on to that person. Because they could have thought that this person was someone that was going to balance this situation out for them. Tempers is here. But this person had a lot of a lot of secrets. The moon card is here. Wow. They didn't expect for this person to get woke. Yeah, eight of swords is here. This person is caught, stuck. You have the eight of swords. You have the hangman. This person is definitely caught up in some type of situation. Because this is someone that they hide stuff. They do stuff in the dark. This person could have been playing with some type of spell work. Temperance, the moon card, high priestess is here, and eight of swords is here. Ooh. Whatever they were playing with, it has them in this eight of swords energy. And they could have been playing with this over this person, like some type of binding magic. Seven of cups is here to confuse that person. They're no longer confused. Yeah, it's like this person is on the chariot and they're heartbroken. They're depressed. Because they were expecting to have this person in this, this devil energy. Bind it to them. Yeah, this was a toxic karmic cycle. And it's like this have ended. Ten of swords is here. They're ending this out. This person is moving towards wish fulfillment. Nine of cups is here. And then ten of cups. They're going straight to their ultimate happiness. Queen of cups is here. Wow. Seven of one, everything backfired. Whatever this person was doing, it all backfired. It's like they're not going to be able to create blockages for this person. They're blocked off because they're stuck dealing with whatever karma that they did not expect to go through. Everything is just backfiring, 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 and they're stuck dealing with their own blockages that they created for themselves, trying to create blockages for this person. Um, they could have knew who you were to that person. This is why they sat back and kept their mouth on you in a negative way. Did not know that they would make their self look bad. I'm so dumb. Did not know that they would make this person realize who you were to them. Wow. Yeah, this is someone who can no longer try to use you. Or try to play in your energy. It's like they just sabotage their self. Talking about you. Or wishing ill will on you being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Spreading right negative gossip and lies that were not true. To try to blind this person from the truth. This is a lot. I'm not going to take all of that. So you have, this is someone that definitely had their family members helping them to create blockages for that person. This person is someone who tried to create blockages for you and it backfired onto them. Could have been onto their family too. Yeah, this is someone that sits back and they have readings done on you and your twin. So they knew you and this person were twins. 
They just wanted to keep whoever your twin is blinded from the truth. Whoever this person is, they're jealous of you and their family is jealous too. Whoever this karmic is, they're receiving karma because whatever spell work that they were playing with, it backfired. Yeah, and then jealous karmic family. So whoever this family that they're attached to, if it's their family, these are people that are jealous of you because you exposed this person. And this person is someone who literally like, they're attached to karma. They're binded to karma. Now their family is in that energy. These are people that all could be stuck. I'm so done. Jealous karmic brother. They're experiencing bad karma while in a toxic karmic cycle. So whoever this king of cups is, whoever your twin is, they've only been experiencing bad karma as they have been in this toxic karmic cycle. Because somebody was expecting for someone to continue to give to them. They would have some type of ten of pentacles with this person. Or they would have a whole bunch of money or something with this person. Or from this person. And it's like God stepped in on this situation. And was issuing out whoever your twin is. Karma. Because this person thought that they were going to have some type of abundance. Or a whole bunch of wealth. By placing spell work over this person. I'm so done. And it's like whoever your twin is. This could be their karmic brother. That's jealous as well. This is someone who only wanted to use your twin. Nothing more. Yeah they found out they have karmic family members. So whoever your twin is. They found out different family members are karmics. People that they are attached to in a toxic karmic cycle. People that were sent to create blockages to keep them stuck. Karmic friends secretly competing. I'm so done. Whoever is that they have a friend that's secretly competing with them. So they're in the five of ones energy, trying to one up this person, trying to copy this person, trying to, you know, compete with this person, but it's a secret out of jealousy. So Somebody paid people to spread lies on you. Yeah, whoever this karmic soulmate is, this person paid people to spread lies on you. They had different family members helping them to create blockages. They sat back behind the scenes, constantly getting tarot carved. This person did not realize they were at the eight of swords, stuck, binded, blinded, and tied up for trying to play in your energy. This is someone that thought that they were going to copy you, but it did not work. So while they were putting their mouth on you, this person was trying to act like you, talk like you, be like you, do whatever it is that you do. Trying to quote your energy and it did not work. This person is in despair. Yeah, this is someone who definitely have, tried, have been trying to send negative energy to you, but you're protected karmic brother but they didn't know so your twin this person they didn't know was a karmic whoever this jealous karmic brother is all your twin think about is you wow i'm so done i this card get in here i thought this was in the other deck so you have king of cups all they think about is you so this is someone that's in love with you king of cups you have this out here twice and this is someone <clears throat> whoever this karmic is they try to ruin this connection with children they use kids to, to ruin the connection. This is someone that's very bitter and soulless. As I said, this person kept their mouth on you. They figured if they created <clears throat> false statements on you or talked about you in a negative way, it would make you look bad. Whoever your twin is, they could have helped that person talk about you and didn't know it was false news. Now that your twin realized who you are, this karmic is upset because the magic is not working. All your twin think about is you. This person is in love with you. And your light irritates their demons. They're pissed off because you revealed whatever they spoke. I mean, whatever they did. You expose the truth. This is why your light irritates their demons. Because they wanted to keep it hidden. They have low self-esteem. This is why this person wanted to be you. 
This person is mad because they operate in a low vibrational energy and they were trying to keep your twin stuck, keep your twin blocked off from their purpose, from their path. And they thought they were going to take it out on you. It did not work. This person is pissed off because whatever they were doing, it's not working. Yeah, energy thief in the reverse. This is someone who thought they were going to take your energy. It did not work. Oh, <laughs> this is sad. Emotional manipulation was involved. So they were playing on this person's emotions, whoever your twin is. This is someone that have been trying to copy everything you do because they know that you're their twin flame. You're that person's twin flame. All your twin think about is you. They want to know if you still love them. And it's like whoever this person they're getting readings, how do they feel about them? How do they feel about them? What is going to happen? <laughs> they don't want your twin to be happy. Because they're not happy. And as I said, this is someone who got stuck trying to play in your energy. While they were behind the scenes sleeping with this person's friends and their family members. Now that your twin finds out the truth, they feel left out in the cold from the connection. Because they're realizing they were attached to this person that, that has low self-esteem. And this is why they were in the energy feeling rejected, feeling insecure. This is someone that they that definitely knew about this twin flame journey way before you and your twin did. This person thought that they would... This person was jealous of you for a long time. They thought that they were going to secretly project their energy off onto you and you would be jealous of them because they were attached to your twin. I'm so jealous. <laughs> this is sad. What's there to be jealous of as your twin is in a toxic karmic cycle? Yeah, a karmic friend, but they didn't know. So they're attached to some... Whoever this friend is, they're a karmic. Karmic friend stole money from them. So whoever this person is that was secretly competing with them... This is someone that was a karmic friend that they didn't know. Like one of their friends is a karmic, a karmic attachment. Somebody else that was trying to keep this person stuck in a toxic karmic cycle. Yeah, it's like they stole money from them. They don't want to see this person happy. They want to see this person, you know, without. Yeah, whoever this karmic is, they're mentally unstable. They're afraid of you being in love with someone else. So your twin is afraid of you being in love with someone else. Yeah, they found out you're their twin flame. Whoever this karmic is, they were taking money from your twin and giving it to someone else. And they could have literally, like, was taking losses. So it could have been this karmic friend. So if they were sleeping with one of your twin's family members or friends... They were taking money from your twin and giving it to someone else. Wow. Because this karmic friend stole money from them. Yeah. These are people that are jealous of your gifts. You're someone that's very gifted. You use your gifts in a positive way. And they're jealous. This is where all this came from. This person is jealous because you're gifted. And you were able to expose them by using your intuition. They were pissed. Yeah, they're fa this person is facing some type of jail time for fraud. They did all of this because they're jealous because you're a good person. Yeah, they were trying to trap your twin with a child that was not theirs. karmic sister but they didn't know so they have a karmic sister that they're attached to and they didn't know that person was a karmic it's like when you're in a toxic karmic cycle you're attached to people that are low vibrational these are people that are able to be used by the devil to try to keep you stuck you know if people allow that this is what's going to happen you know they're going to stay stuck in toxic low vibrational type of energies type of cycles and these are people that were allowing the devil to use them to keep that person stuck. Because they operate out of envy, jealousy, hatred. 
And it's like now your twin is realizing this. Yeah, somebody lied to this person to make them believe that they were their twin flame. Whoever this karmic is. I'm so done. They found out they have karmic friends. Yeah, they found out whoever this person is was a karmic partner, karmic soulmate. Everything backfired times 10. Yeah, and a karmic friend said they slept with you. So whoever this karmic friend is that was secretly competing with them, this is someone that said they slept with you? I'm so done. Yeah, they found out their karmic partner placed black magic over them to keep them on the wrong path. Yeah, this person was using blood magic. This karmic partner placed blood magic over them. I'm so done. And they're jealous because you don't have to use black magic. So this is where this all steam from. This is someone that uses black magic. You expose this. They could have did this to keep this person in a night of one's energy, doing stuff without thinking, just running around and um, head on collision, making bad decisions and staying binded to toxic cycles. They wanted to keep your twin in that energy. When you spoke the truth about this blood magic, this black magic, this person got pissed. They didn't expect for you to speak the truth. They did not expect for this person to put two and two together. They're accustomed to this being in a night of wands and just doing whatever without thinking, believing anything without thinking. Now that they're not in that energy and they're more intuitive, that person is pissed. It's like while, that, while they were in this energy, they didn't know that your twin was in this intuitive energy when you spoke the truth. Using their intuition and paying attention. And they just kept putting their mouth on you, kept trying to do different stuff behind the scenes to make you look bad. And this is what made your twin come to this realization. I'm so done. This is sad. This person literally got mad because you don't play with black magic, place blood magic over people. You expose, you know, this person for doing that. You could have exposed them to say these people. So you could have exposed multiple people for doing that because you're someone that's very gifted. You were able to read that person's energy because they were stuck trying to play in you and your twin's energy. This is someone that paid different people to lie to the authorities out of envy because they wanted to make you look bad. I'm hearing crazy. This is someone who wanted to make you look crazy and it did not work. And it's like your twin, they stayed attached to that person because they were dealing with this four of cups energy, low self-esteem, feeling rejected, feeling insecure. They didn't know why you weren't chasing them down. Why you weren't sweating them. Because all they could think about was you. Yeah, and they were buying this person's fake love. Yeah, this is somebody that you never even met before. You don't know that person. They still told lies on you. Because you hadn't exposed them. For something that, something they did not want to get out. And this was your purpose. You were supposed to speak the truth to this person. You're someone that's service. You feel good when you can help others. You were helping your twin. And now that they're realizing this and using their intu intuition, they're in regret. They're ashamed. They're embarrassed. Whoever this karmic friend is, they want you for themselves. And they've been placing spell work over your twin to keep them stuck. Oh, I'm so <laughs> yeah, whoever this karmic is, they robbed your twin and they did not know. Like they had them robbed before. They didn't know that this person set it up. This is someone that's jealous of the spiritual connection and the spiritual bond that you have with your twin. You and this person communicate telepathically. This person comes in your dreams. You go in that person's dreams. And that person is jealous. This is why they were trying to sabotage the connection. They're not attached to your, your twin spiritually. That's why they were trying to keep them and hold on to them. Keep them stuck physically. In some type of illusion and a confusion. That's it. This person scammed a lot of people. 
because they were jealous of a spiritual. Yeah, because this is someone who wants to be you. They're jealous of your gifts. I'm so done. But this is someone who does not want to work. Five of Pentacles is here. They're physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold. They don't have an intuition. This person operates out of low vibrational energy. Their ancestors left them out in the cold. So instead of putting in the work or working for their self, getting out of this five of pentacles energy, they decided to get behind the scenes to try to sabotage you because they want to be you. This person figured they stay in that five energy. They went from the five of pentacles, five of wands, five of swords, and five of cups. As everything had them backfired. Times ten. I'm so dumb. This person was trying to throw spell work at you. Yeah, they thought they were going to get a lot of money. Yeah, this is someone that's uneducated. This is someone that's just low vibrational. And um, they were blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. Jealous karmic sister. Yeah, jealous karmic sister. They got, they got scammed by a karmic partner. This person has a jealous karmic sister that they're attached to. Whoever's, whoever this uh, person is that scammed them. They set that your twin up to go to jail. And this person got pissed off when you exposed them for the spell work. Yeah, your twin did not believe whatever you spoke that was true because black magic was done over them. This person had them place black magic over them to keep them stuck. Now they're in regret after finding out the truth. 